going on doggies? Welcome back to another video. Hey, you know when the ironing board comes out to play, there are some big, big fish to be cleaned. Look at this. Oh. Right, I travel around Australia with this ironing board. It is about five or six years old. She's been from, she's been through hell and back and um, this thing has cleaned some serious fish. The reason that I've got this ironing board out right now is because we have some serious fish to clean. See that little boat behind me? See this baby little tinny here? We just gave that thing a flogging out in the ocean. We went wide. We went testing the new FDYS jigs and oh my goodness, did we do good. We had shark attacks. We had big fish, little fish. It was all happening. I nearly had a GoPro battery blow up in my face. But it was just, I had a bloody, really, really bloody good day and I am starving. So we're gonna start this video here right now. We're gonna cook up some incredible food. Stay tuned. First, what I gotta do is go through the car, see what sort of snot we've got left. We are like on the bones of our ass, food-wise in the car. We haven't been shopping for about two weeks, so this is gonna be very interesting. Let's jump inside the troopy, see what we've got to eat. I feel like cooking something really bloody delicious, but I just don't think we have the ingredients in the car right now to do so. Gonna go have a quick look now what we've got in the car. But um, I'm gonna roll that fishing footage on a little in about one minute, two minutes. I'm gonna show you guys the amazing day we just had out in the ocean on that little tinny. Man, so much fun. I'm sunburned, I'm tired, I'm starving. I could literally eat the ass out of a low flying duck right now. I'm so hungry. Um, it, was, it was a hell day. I've been awake since 3 a.m. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm salty. And this is the feeling that I love. It's just a bloody good feeling. All right. We're gonna jump inside the troopy, see what we've got for food because um, I don't reckon it's gonna to be too much. All right, this is our fridge. We've got a freezer, we've got a fridge. That's what I thought. There ain't much in there whatsoever. What have we got? A couple of beers, mushroom, apple cider vinegar, whatever, oh, honey. Yeah, man. There ain't much in here, eh? What is that? Yuck. <laughs> oh, that needs a clean. <laughs> well, I can just about guarantee you that we're gonna use absolutely nothing out of that poxy fridge except for maybe a cold beer at sunset. There's nothing in there. But this drawer here, you guys don't know, we've got these mad, big, dirty double drawer systems. And they usually can, this is usually where we keep all of our food. A Little bit of garlic. We've got an onion. All right, we've got a couple of cans of stuff here. Look, leave it with me. We're gonna make something that is delicious, beautiful, and uh, it's gonna taste bloody good. Let me show you the fish that we're cooking right now. It's not even a fish, it's like the head of a fish and it's literally like this big. Funnest day ever. I'm gonna grease these clips on real soon. Ooh. Have a look at this thing. This is what we're cooking right now. We have got a big, Slob of a fish, but it ends right there. This fish fell victim to a brutal, brutal shark attack today. Have a look at the size of that trout. This would have been my personal best fish. It was a stonker. This thing's huge, man. Look at the size of it. It would have been a really giant fish, but the sharks, they got to it before I could get it up on the tinny. Today was wild, man. It was super fun. Look at this thing. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rip some fillets off the top. These two top shoulders here, that's gonna hold a heap of meat in there. The wings, we've got a lot of food still in this head and this body of the fish. And um, look, sharing's caring, mate. We shared it with the sharks. It's all good. We're gonna have a hell feed out of this. It's big, it's massive, it's beautiful. One of the best eating fish in the sea, in my opinion. Look at the flies. The flies are digging in. Shark attack victim. All right, let's rip a couple of fillets off this and uh, we're gonna make some sort of a good food out here. I don't know what we're gonna make, but we're gonna make something good. I'm starving. Beautiful, white, crazy white flesh. That's, that is what it is all about right there. Have a look at that. Just like that. That's one, that is a big fillet, man. Look how white and juicy that is there. That is bloody beautiful. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make some sort of a mad bush feed out here right now. I'll grease the footage on from when, when we went out in the tinny, caught this big dog, we caught other fish. It was, a, it was just a sick day. All right, I'm gonna grease that footage on. See you soon. Hi, two. Yeah, doggies, good bloody morning to you. All right, we're out here, we're getting it done. It's a little bit rough, it's a little bit choppy, 
I'm definitely getting my fair share of salt water sprayed in the face this morning, but it is still beautiful out here. We're, um, we've got one rod out in the troll just there. It's a little bit rough, but it's all right. We'll get it done. Hopefully we can get one big fish on the deck. That sun's only just popped its head up over there. Looking beautiful out here. Oh, we're doubling our chances now. We've got one rod out there. We've got one rod out here. There are birds going crazy. Come on. One of these rods has got to go off, you big dog. I'm not out here getting a flogging for no reason. Let's go. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. It's going to happen any second. I can feel it. Quickly gonna get this jig down there. Possible fish halfway down. Looks kind of interesting. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's fish straight away. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh no, no, sharks all over it like a runny egg. You're kidding. That was a good fish, man. Straight up, boom, 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 boom. See you later. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's getting rougher by the minute out here. All right, well, we just dropped the jig down. First jig to hit the bottom. We hooked up to a beautiful fish. And uh, just like that, the shark came in, took the fish and we were off. There are so many sharks around here right now, it's not funny. Basically, all I want to do is I just want to get one fish past these sharks and I'm a happy boy. I don't care what sort of fish it is, just a little bit of grub for this arvo. That's all I'm chasing. We just want one fish. So uh, we'll just keep pushing on, see if we can sneak one fish past these big juicy sharks. There are so many sharks here. I was looking under the boat when we were floating before, there's three sharks just circling around the boat. So they're thick, they're hungry, they're angry. And um, we ain't giving up. We gotta get one fish past these sharks, I'll be a happy boy. Come on, we can get this done. We've gotta stay persistent. All right, here we go. We've just been driving around for about an hour and a half, dragging lures around. Haven't had too much luck whatsoever. We've had one shark come and destroy a lure, and that was it. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drop down that 100 gram booze hag and see how we go on this little lump we've found on the sounder. Should provide something delicious. Just gotta get it past these sharks, man. These sharks are ruthless. I knew this part. Right, here we go. Booze hags on the bottom. Yeah, fish on. Oh, as soon as it hit the bottom, we got a fish. Now we're gonna get it past the sharks. Come on. Come on, ah, oh, shark, ah, oh, shark, ah, oh, shark. <laughs> no, man. These sharks are ridiculous. That was a good fish. As soon as it hit the bottom, now we've got a shark on. Oh, no. Get my fish back. All right, we've got it back. Go, go, go! <laughs> Get him up, get him up! Ah, ah, come on! This is the fight of the Goliath! Oh, oh no, no! Oh, ah. This is hectic! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on! Get him up, get him up! Wow! Come on! Ah. Yeah. Oh. Come on! Get him up! Come on, we're gaining line now! He's a good fish! Please don't get shocked, please don't get shocked. 
Please, please, please don't get shocked. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I'm getting schooled. Look at this. This is what it's all about. Underground booze hag. Woo! Come on. Come on. We're dangerously close to the boat now. Ah, oh, sharks grabbed it. No! Look at this. Get out of here, you mongrel. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so fun. Well, this is what we've got left of our fish. That got absolutely destroyed by a shark. Look at that. Oh man. He was swimming away with it. Somehow, we got him up on that light gear. That's hectic, bruh. Woo! My goodness, look at that. So there's the 100 gram booze hag hanging out of his mouth. And that shark has just absolutely ripped shreds off that cod. Absolutely just destroyed it. Beautiful white flesh hanging out there. That's so hectic, man. Anyway. We've got a fish on the deck, but it's uh, it's not really what we were going for. That was psycho. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> that is that is like next level, man. These sharks are off their heads out here. All right, so I've actually put that fish in the esky. That could be the only fish we get on the deck today. So I've got it in the esky. We'll be able to salvage a little bit of the meat off that fish. Beautiful eating, nice white flesh. Even though it's been mauled by a shark. We'll still have a chew. Um, I'm gonna travel up here about 500 meters, see if we can get away from the sharks. Drop again on another little spot I know up here and uh, we'll see if we can pull a fish off it without it getting shark. That's the plan. I don't reckon it's gonna happen, but we're gonna try. This place is so incredible. There's a ma massive school of tuna out the back there. And check this out, dude. Hold on, I'll give you guys a little bit of polarization. Look at the size of that whale shark. Can you see that? That whale shark is twice the size of this tinny. Well, not twice, but it's way bigger than the tinny I'm in. Beautiful creature, man. I don't want to turn the engine on and bother him, but look at that. How good, man. He's a big dog, just having time of his life out here. Just like me. Right, oh, here we go. A little bit of booze hag POV action. There she is, 100 gram booze hag. See you later, darling. All right, please bring me up a fish. That's more than half. Let's go. Look at that. It's actually turning into be a beautiful day. Look, that wind's backed off quite a lot. It's pretty nice out here. All we need to do is get a full fish up. None of this half business. All right, we're about 10 meters away from the bottom. Should be about five meters. That's bottom. All right, ready? Boom, boom, boom. Come on, booze hag, do what you do best, baby. Boom, boom, boom. That's fish, bang. Booze hag, every time. Oh, let's go, no sharks. So, so. Good fish, good fish. <laughs> this is hectic. Come on, Baba, get up here, big rig. Oh, that just got sharked, I think. Come on, don't get sharked. Come on, get up here. Whoa. What is that? Oh. Little golden trevally. Oh no, we've got everything happening right now. Look at that. We've got a full fish up. Ah, oh yes, we did. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful golden trevally. Come here, mate. I know, I know. You're going to go home. Don't worry, mate. Look at that. Epic. We finally got a full fish up. Look at that, this golden trevally. Oh, that was a beautiful little fight. As soon as it hit the bottom, couple of jigs, we got him up. Oi, 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 oi. Anyway, there he is, that's a beautiful fish. He is going straight back to the drink. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get him past the sharks. He's still super fresh, very healthy. He'll go back straight to the bottom, not a problem. He's beautiful. Thank you, I love you, I appreciate you. You're going back. Look at that, he's a little cracker. All right, mate. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. Look at the colors. All right, buddy. We'll see you next time. Thanks for the fun. Take it easy, buddy. Oh. Look at that. Off he goes. 
See you, mate. Away from the sharks, he's safe. How good, man. Look at it. Let's go again. 100 gram booze hag. Going down again. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. What's going to happen this time? That was seriously just craziness. Sharks are just off their heads. You can't win out here. But it's fun. And we got, we've got one injured fish in the esky, so we're not going to go hungry. Come on, let's get down there. Hurry up. It's got to be close. It's got to be close. That's the bottom. Come on. Eat that booze hag. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, that. Yeah, fish on. Ah, oh, fish on, baby. That's fish. All right, let's get it past the sharks. Oh, good fish. That's a lovely fish. Come on, baby. Big head shakes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come on, big dog. Get up here. Get up, get up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Come on. Up him, up him, up him. Let's go, baby. Good fish. No sharks on it yet. Come on. Get up here. Look at this. I'm winding as fast as I can. Get him up. Oh, shark behind it. Two sharks behind it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, look at the size of this man. Holy dooly. That would have been, that would have been a mama of a trout. That is a massive, massive coral trout. And obviously, we've only got half the fish. But that there is a monster coral trout. As soon as it hit the bottom, look at that, that jig is inside his mouth there. Holy moly, that is the monster of all my, that's a mama of all mama trout. That is massive. You know what we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do with this? That is a beautiful chunk of food right there. That's incredible. That is a monster of a fish. There's the 100 gram. 100 gram booze hag that's going to be available very soon they're obviously dynamite they work every time it hits the bottom we've got a fish on them hooked in beautifully in the corner of the jaw there mate that is a mama of a fish right there that thing would have gone like probably about that big over a meter anyway he ain't going back he's going in the esky look at that beautiful white flesh there that's a mama <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to change jigs up. So this jig here is actually the jig that I asked you guys to name on the YouTube video a couple of weeks ago. So that jig there, this is one of the new jigs that we're making. And I asked you guys to name this, this particular jig. And um, a lot of you gave some banging names on Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, smash, type this into Instagram. Join the field day party over there. Um, a lot of you guys came up with some really bloody good names. And I was like, all right, but I had a name in mind. And then I'm sitting down the beach one Arvo with Mac 10. This guy comes past in a four wheel drive, flying past, locks it up, reverses, and he's like out the window, hey, dumb dog. And I'm like, how are you, brother? And he goes, call your jig the dumb dog. And I just cracked up laughing. And I'm like, are you serious? And he's like, you've got to call it the dumb dog. And I'm like, Mate, I've got to call it the dumb dog. So, this jig is now called the dumb dog. This is a 100 gram dumb dog. We're going to get it down to the bottom and see how it goes. What a name, hey. The dumb dog. It's officially been named. If you're watching for that guy who drove past on the beach, you're a bloody legend, mate. That actually made my day. But there we go. 100 gram dumb dog. Let's drop it down right here, right now. See how we go. Ready? I'll just put you guys over here. Because we're probably going to get a fish. The dumb dog's actually one of my favorite it's a little bit of it flutters more than the other jig so we'll see how it goes when it hits the bottom it's got a really nice action it just goes da, 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 da. 
She's beautiful, mate. All right, here we go. Come on, get down there. 10 metres. The dumb dog. All right, we're, we're close. That's bottom, ready? 100 gram dumb dog is on the bottom. Oh, fish on! Ah! Fish on the dumb dog straight away! Ah! Go, get him up! Get him up! Oh, oh, this isn't a big fish, but it could be a beautiful fish. Oh, get him up! The dumb dog getting the job done! We just gotta pass. We need to get past the sharks, man. Oh, I can see it. Oh no, there's two sharks there. Go, 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 go. All right, we got him up. It's a beautiful little fish too. Have a look at that. Lovely, lovely. Well, there it is. The 100 gram dumb dog. As soon as it hit the bottom, we just pulled up this beautiful little cod. He's going straight back. We've got enough food. That, that cold trout head or that trout head, that's enough food for two people there. So we're gonna put this little fella back, but that was super fun. As soon as it hit the bottom, that dumb dog got smoked. See ya, mate. Get back there. Quick, 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 sharks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this, dude. Hey, right, quick polarization. Look at that whale shark. Hey, mate. He's big, eh? He's beautiful. What a dinosaur. That thing is massive. How good's that? Just pulled up to a new fishing spot and he was literally like, just, I didn't even notice it. It was right behind there. He's just cruising past. Look at him up there. He's a big boy. That's so dope. All right, I just found another beautiful little bombing. It's just, we're just about to drift over it now. We'll fish this one and we're gonna have a little bit more fun. We'll do some different stuff. Oh man. It is hot out here now. It is boiling hot. The water is so clear. It's like beautiful crystal clear water. I've been throwing this popper and this big rod around for, I don't know, 45 minutes, nearly an hour. Haven't even had a sniff. Didn't think I would, but it was worth a crack. I might jump in the water to cool down and have a sniff, see if we can pick up a crayfish maybe. That's just gonna finish off the meal. Maybe we can jump on these bombies. There's a heap of beautiful little rocks in the water here. We'll jump in, have a look, see if we can find a crayfish. Maybe that'll be the go. I need to cool down, man. Oh, yeah. blow up in my face right now all right i went for a beautiful little dive the water is absolutely incredibly bloody beautiful there's three nice big bombies and a big line up there i did all three bombies couldn't really see any fish but what happened that what happened was and what always happens for some reason i don't know if it's me or everyone but these gopros just 
they just wig out every day. Like this thing just had a shit fart in the water just then. Now I'm trying to get the battery out. The battery's stuck inside the GoPro. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm getting a knife and I'm trying to pop the battery out of the GoPro. I'm waiting for the um, battery to explode in my face, but I can't get the battery out. It's like swollen and it's stuck in the actual GoPro. So you guys probably only saw two or three seconds of that dive, but it was beautiful. The water's not very clear, but very nice in the water. I couldn't find any crayfish, but mate, we've got one slob of a, half a slob of a fish in the esky there. I just got to get this battery out without it blowing up. Yes, here we go. Oh, that's gonna. I've got half the knife in the battery. Look at that. There we go. Piece of junk. Oh, that battery is absolutely cooked. Look at that. <laughs> it's all puffy and just it's just stuffed. Throw that in the bin. And the GoPro is still good, but. Do now. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna punch back to where the car is. And we're gonna go have one beautiful feed. I'm starving. That wind's starting to kick in as well, so I reckon we'll go get this coral trout we've got in the esky. We'll make a beautiful big feed out of it, man. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'll tell you what. We've gave half the fish to the sharks. We got to keep the other half. Life is good. All right, I got a bit of a steam back to where the car is, so um, I'll see you guys back around that waiting board. And we're gonna have one hell of a feed. So, hey! All right, welcome back to the kitchen. I know what we're making. We're gonna make something that is absolutely, it's gonna melt in my mouth. It's gonna make your mouth water, like I said. It's gonna be good. It should be pretty good, actually. We're just using the, the basically every single scrap that is left in this car, and we're gonna put that fish to use. It's gonna be pretty good. Down here, actually in the pot here, they've got garlic and onion. I'm just browning that up. We took the two big the two big shoulders off of that fish and we took the fish wings off the fish. So I've scaled the fish wings. All of it's in the fridge right now, cooling down. And we're just keeping it away from the flies because right now these flies are brutal. Like I've got flies going in my nose, in my ears, in my mouth. I just opened up a cold beer. I've got them going in with a beer can. There's just flies absolutely everywhere right now. What do you do? Australia. How good's this? Look at this old school can opener. When was the last time you opened a can with one of these things? It's actually pretty satisfying. This is our green curry paste. We're gonna bust a bit of that in there. Right now we've got onion, garlic, mushroom, green curry paste is going in. The fish still in the fridge. What are we doing? Let's just put the, I'm just going to put half a can in. Holy shit, I'll just put the whole can in. Alright, whatever. The whole can's in there. Well, this definitely won't be the most lavish curry we've ever made, but it's going to taste bloody good. The last ingredient that goes in is this premium coconut milk. So I'm just going to drop the whole can of that in there as well. Oh, we're looking pretty, this looks pretty good. Oh, we'll give that a good old fashioned stirring. I reckon this won't be too bad at all, actually. I did see some curry powder, but I might have put some curry powder in there as well. How much curry powder do you put in? Hello. Mate, we are on. Have a go at that. Even for a shark attacked fish, that's how much meat, actually that's, this isn't all the meat. This is probably three quarters of it though. It's a good majority of the meat, but that's how much meat we got off that beautiful big trout. And just look at the color. Look at the color of that. I don't know if you guys can see it. That sun is racing down right now, but that is glowing white, beautiful looking meat. And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna chop it into big chunks and we're just gonna drop it straight into that sauce. That sauce 
Oh, it's perfect, man. Everything's working out just dandy. That sauce is bubbling right now. Look at that, mate. Have a look at that. It just literally glows. It's such a beautiful meat. I'm going to smash this, man. This is the first thing I've eaten and I've been awake since 3 a.m. It is now 6.30 in the afternoon. Hungry. I will just grab big handfuls of that fresh, juicy meat. It's going to go straight into that bubbling... Oh! <laughs> it's going to go straight into that bubbling sauce. Boom. Look at that. Glowing white. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. I'm going to eat this whole entire thing. Sit down there on the water's edge as that sun sets. There we go. We've got that much more. It's going straight in the billy or in the pot. See you later. Boom. All right, we'll just give him a little bit of a stir. Have a go at that. Have a go at that. Look at this. This is why you can't leave anything out. Look at this, ready? Get off! All right, this is gonna go straight back in the... Man, can't do anything out here with these little friendly little flies, eh? Oh. Hectic. All right, while our fish is boiling over there, a question that I get asked all the time is, what is that little jigging reel and rod? Like, what is the setup that I'm using when we're out there using those FDYS bomber jigs? They work so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with them. But the reel and rod that I'm using right now is this is a little Maxell hybrid. This little reel is incredible. It's tiny. Like, it's, it's tiny. Watch this. So that's the fishing reel that I'm using. Only This is like a pure jigging reel, but... It fits in my hands. You can like cover your hands up. It fits inside my hands. That's just it goes to show how small it is. But I get a ton of messages about this fishing reel, and um, it's a hybrid. It's a Maxell Hybrid 20C. It's the, for the people who are asking. It's an amazing little fishing reel. You can literally just lock the fish and just rip them up. I think I'm running PE 2.5 or PE 3 line on that. And then for the rod, I just got this new rod and it's so nice, man. It's an Ocean Legacy Elementus, Element, Elementus PE2. So the rod, it just it's such a nice rod. It's got a little bit of balls in the butt so you can really turn the fish's head, but the end is just nice and slow pitched whipping. It's just a beautiful little setup. And when I say little, like it really is little, like it's tiny, like look at that. You, hold, you can just cover the reel with your hands. It's, 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 I love it, it's so good. So for the people that are asking, that's what it is. So fun. Yeah, look at this. That's real good. That is gonna taste next level delicious. Have a look at this. Look at that. I've been waiting all day to put some food in me. And the time has finally come. Cheers, doggies. Thank you so much for the support. It honestly, it honestly does mean the world to me. I bloody love each and every one of you. All right, let's dig into this. It's been a long time coming. Look at that chunk of goodness right there. We actually shared this fish with a shark today. That's crazy. It's going to be hot. Oh man, that's stepping it up. I'm going to start writing a cookbook. Look at that. Mm. It is honestly, I don't know if it's because I haven't eaten anything all day, but that is really, really bloody good. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm basically going to sit here. I'm gonna smash this whole entire pot of fish or fish curry. Enjoy this beautiful part of nature that I'm in. And I'll see you guys in the next video on the next adventure. Don't forget, if you wanna get your merch, hats, fishing shirts, those lures are this close to being available on the online shop. This is the button here, smash it. It'll take you to the fielddayshop.com. Subscribe here if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video, doggies. Thank you so much for watching. Much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Look at these flies, man. Hectic. Yeah!